Greetings, Jedis. This is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. Move out! Hey Star Wars fans, how you doing? My name is John and welcome to another Star Wars review. I'm going to continue my review over the classic Kenner slash Hasbro uh, 12 inch figures. These, actually the next line is Power of the Jedi. These figures came out between 2000 and 2001, right after Power of the Force 2, right after Episode 1 hit the theater. So this is kind of a line to combine both uh, the prequel, Episode 1 during this time, as well as the classic 3 movies. So these are really cool uh, 12 inch figures. Some of them are actually exclusive that you can only buy at particular stores. I'll mention that as well. I appreciate you guys watching. Now if you guys would like to see other previous 12 inch Star Wars figure reviews, I have done uh, reviews over all the other 12 inch Star Wars figures up to this point. So I'll continue going uh, to when they were released. Appreciate you guys watching and may the force be with you. Let's take a closer look. Here is the first wave of Power of the Jedi figures. Now the reason I know this is because, well, I bought them when they first came out. But not only that, but on the back, you'll see a date stamp, and that's copyright of 2000. So these are the first ones. This came out, uh, obviously, uh, episode one had just hit the theaters in 1999. That's still kind of new new to the market of Star Wars, the universe. So what Hasbro did is they wanted to combine a line where they had both uh, figures from the original trilogy and figures from episode one. So they came out with Power of the Jedi. And as you can see in the logo here, you have a Darth Vader's helmet, and you have Obi-Wan Kenobi from episode one in there as well. So it's kind of a mix between uh, both series anyway. Uh, these three figures are part of the, part of the Bounty Hunter uh, set. You have Bosk here on the left. You can see the details, awesome. And then they also on the back, you have kind of a picture of, uh, you know, the background was pretty cool. They did a really great job at desi designing these. These figures are, uh, you know, part of the Jai line was one of the lines that really started kicking off the 12 inch figures for me. I mean, the attention detail to put on these figures are amazing. This is the first time that Boss was actually available for a 12-inch figure form. He comes with a rifle. And on the back, you can see a picture of, of Boss, who's a bounty hunter. It talks a little about the fate of the Star Wars universe in your hands, in the top right corner there. And it shows you other figures in the wave. Collect them all. And on the bottom here, you can see right here, it says uh, to copyright uh, 2000. So that's how you know. On the side, it just has a picture they're both identical, and both sides are identical. So that's Bosk. Here is IG88, one of my favorite bounty hunters. Didn't get much face time, but he was a very popular character, at least the original. He has two guns. You can see the bounty hunter logo there as well. Both sides are identical. On the back, you have the same thing on the top right corner here, and a picture of the different bounty hunters, all of them. Missing Dengar. But uh, other three available. And again, you see copyright 2000 right there. Hasbro had just taken over. Hasbro had owned Kenner at this point, but they just take, recently had taken over uh, before the figures were under brand under Kenner. So here is uh, Ford Lom. You can see the attention to detail of this figure, though. I'm sorry for the glare, but uh, you can see the, the red mark right there on the right shoulder. You can see kind of the orange. Um, kind of highlight there he has line anyway but if you look at the character itself you can see he has the orange you know kind of line you can see he has the red marker just like that so I think the attention detail they really put in these figures are really good it's hard to believe that these figures are over 11 years old that is a first wave here's the second wave of Power of the Jedi 12 inch figures uh, these figures are kind of really they're all part of the Death Star uh, New Hope scene uh, to my left you have Death Star Trooper he has two different types of hel helmet hats. You have a, the helmet there, uh, and you also have a hat, so you can kind of replace and make two kind of different figures off of him. Because of the rifle as well, you can see the, the belt. Again, I apologize for the glare. 
and so you can see how the different characters you can make are identical on both sides. On the bottom here it says fully posable, authentic uh, styled figure, outfit, and accessories. On the back it just shows a picture of uh, several of the Imperial Troopers. And then here's the other figures in the wave. And then this is copyright 2001, so this is wave two. Very cool looking trooper. Here is the Death Star droid. Almost like the body of him is very similar to like C-3PO uh, body, he is a droid. Here's a picture of him on the side. Both sides are identical, and there's a picture in the back. Very small scene in the movie. Also copyright 2001. And lastly, in the Wave 2 with Power Today 12 inch figures is Han Solo in Stormtrooper. This is where he, he's got almost some dirt on him. He's in the trash paddock compactor. He's got the pole where he's put, you know, trying to prevent the, the, the garbage thing from the walls from closing on him, but uh, you can actually put the helmet on him and it looks pretty authentic as well as in this big figure loose before. You can see the attention to detail, he's also got a scar, it's very hard to see, but you can see he's got a scar on his chin just like Harrison Ford has, uh, so really paying t close attention to detail. And there's the sign. That picture almost looks superimposed, it doesn't look like it was an actual picture, but uh, there he is in the garbage bin, trash compactor I should say. And that is wave two. Another cool thing about this line is they had a couple of deluxe 12 inch figures. Let me show you these. Uh, these retail from anywhere from $49.99 for the one on the left. I got, I think originally it was uh, $49.99. Epic. Here are the uh, deluxe kind of 12 inch figure sets that they had. Uh, I picked this up at Toys R Us for $39.99 on the left. The, the Death Set Wars one, I think it originally retailed for $49.99. And same with the 100th figure, Luke Skywalker, which I think is still one of the better 12-inch Luke Skywalkers that you'll find uh, in this line. But let's, let's take a closer look at this one right here in front of me. You can see it comes with both, uh, you got Darth Vader with a removable helmet. He's got a lightsaber. Uh, he's got, uh, you know, the helmet comes off, pretty cool. And then you have uh, Darth Maul. Notice Darth Maul, though, if you look closely. His, you can see that his hips, he actually he breaks apart in two, which is cool because the previous Darth Maul, uh, I don't think, did that as well anyway. So, uh, pretty cool. And then in the bottom right corner, you have Darth Maul, Darth Vader, kind of again, bringing the original series to episode one, kind of linking the two together. And Darth Maul has uh, two lightsabers there. A very cool looking set. On the side here, you have Darth Maul. Bullet points, it says, he talks about Darth Maul's body. Lightsaber Citizens 2, fully posable, I think styled on the other side. You have Darth, Darth Vader. On the back, it talks about both characters, and uh, there's pictures of, of both. So you have the duel of Obi Wan and Darth Maul, and you have the duel of Luke and Darth Vader there on the back. A really cool set. Yeah, they did have a Darth Vader with electronic Darth Vader with removable helmet. Uh, this does not talk, that one did talk, but still very cool. You can see the attention to detail on his face and everything, really neat. This is one of my favorite loops, this is the 100th figure, it's hard to believe that they actually had 100 figures in the 12-inch line up to this point, uh, and the copyright, I believe, on these things were 2001, we'll double check on the back, but uh, you have Luke, he's got the poncho, but you can also, he's got different outfits, so he's got the X-Wing get up, he's got the the helmet, X-Wing uh, X helmet, he's got the Tatooine helmet, he's got a grappling hook, lightsaber. So you can really make Luke in really any situation, at least for the New Hope, uh, really cool. I mean, all the accessories are super cool. This thing on the bottom, you can see uh, actually opens up. There's Velcros. Adjust the camera so you can see it. You can see it actually almost pops up, almost like a 3D. Thing shows you different setups you can dress them as on this side. It's basically four different loops you can make. It's a really cool set, and that just fucks those uh, together like so, really nicely. And it comes with a hundred. This comes with a checklist of all the hundred figures, so you can open that up and you can get a kind of a list of other twelve-inch figures in the line. So you can have a checklist that's right there, which is really nice, nice to have. And on the back. It shows, it talks about Luke in the Power Jedi uh, line here, and you have different pictures of Luke as well. Really cool set, one of my favorite 12 inch figures so far.
There are a number of exclusives for the set as well. The first one I'm going to show you is a Walmart exclusive. This is Luke and Yoda in uh, training, Jedi training. Uh, this came out in 2001, available only at Walmart. I don't I forget how much. I think it retailed for $29.99. I don't recall. It's been a while since I bought it, but uh, you can see nice, nice uh, graphics there of, of Luke and Yoda. On the side you have Luke doing a handstand, and on the other side he's got Yoda on his back. Okay, D definitely interesting package design too because it's more round in the front, it's very unique. In the top there, it's got an interesting kind of a thing way to open it up. But on the back, information about the Power Jedi line. There's the back, and here's a closer look at each figure. It doesn't come with a lightsaber, I don't believe, but you can look at the all new sculpt. His, his head, and then uh, he's got a very articulated, move his elbows and everything, his wrist, and you got Yoda in a backpack as well. Really cool set to have. Here is a Target exclusive. This is uh, Captain Tarples and Cadu. I think is the way you pronounce it. I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. But uh, anyway, uh, this is a Target, only available at Target. I, re I believe it retailed for $59.99, uh, but it really cool. This is obviously from Episode 1. So you got Car Captain uh, Tarples there on the right. You got the Cadu uh, creature there. Let's look at the side here. It's a picture of him riding. I think the other side is identical. This came out in 2001 as well. Or I'm sorry, no, if I stand corrected, this came out in 2000, rather. And so you have a picture of the battle in Naboo. It talks about the different, uh, you got the energy ball hand wand, the feminine styles. Um, you got fully articulated figure. Rings fit into Captain Tarple's hands, posable Kadu legs. You can see the, just the way this figure is, I mean, this whole set is in the package is pretty awesome. Uh, looks like Captain Tarple's leg is almost broken there. It's kind of going off to the right there, kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, really detailed looking figure. I mean, uh, really cool. Captain Tarple, I don't think, was released uh, individually. Uh, you have a Judge of Binks, but I don't think Captain Tarple's was released. So this, you can only get this set at Target through this set, which is cool. Here is Luke Skywalker and Speeder Bike. Uh, this is an exclusive Target. I believe it retailed for $59.99. I don't recall, to be honest with you. Uh, but this is only available at Target. Now, they did also release the Power of the Force 2 line. They released the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. And then later on, after this, they released a Leia and Speeder Bike. But this is one of the three Speeder Bike figures. I, I love the attention to detail of these 12 inch figures. I think they're really cool. You can see the attention of the Speeder Bike itself is to scale with a 12 inch figure. Um, this thing actually comes off as well. Uh, really cool. You, get, you can see in the back. They've got the, the tarp here, uh, really neat. And just the figure itself is very, I mean, the detail. You can see Luke, he's got the poncho, he's, his hands are on the, the controls there. Uh, and he, even in the, the waist display, you can see the force in the background. One of my favorite sets for sure. Uh, I like the Dewback set as well, which is pretty cool. That's Power Force 2 line. And the Tauntaun set is really cool. They did an awesome job with this 12 inch line, and this is one of, the, my, one of my favorite figures. Uh, on the top, and so it shows Luke and, and Speeder Bike. This is actual figure. This is not a picture from the movie. But it almost looks like it. I mean, the attention detail is really cool. His helmet does come off. On the side there, you got Luke. And on the other side, same picture. Here's the back. It's three positions posable. It's got this, it comes with a, a stand, so you can actually uh, display it, which is nice. Uh, swerving front mounted blaster canyon, pivoting handlebars. Three positions, first time ever Luke's indoor, uh, and then got the fate of Luke of the universe here. So pretty cool. It's worth 70 Jedi Master Points in the bottom right there. You can, I guess you can redeem those for certain prizes. Came out in 2001. Really, really awesome set. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and may the Force be with you. We'll see you guys soon. Take care.